Welcome back, sports fans. This is Steve, and this is Half Moon Picks, and thanks for coming back. Uh, as you know, the Super Bowl 48 is here. Last game of the season. No more football for another six or seven months. And uh, how disappointing. Uh, but this year, uh, there's a few things I want to point out before I get to the game. Um, the, the police department in the New York area, the first time they held the Super Bowl in New York, um, has many had to do a lot of cutbacks, so there's not going to be emergency services or additional um, uh, police patrol in the area. Uh, they had to cut back their budget a million dollars. Uh, and But yet the Super Bowl is four million dollars for every 30 seconds of commercial ad. you think they would have threw the police department a million dollars, 10 seconds of their time, uh, for additional uh, uh, police patrol and emergency services. So, God forbid, hopefully nothing happens there. Uh, this is also called the Cannabis Bowl. Uh, as you know, uh, cannabis is uh, uh, known for marijuana. And uh, Colorado, the state of Colorado and the state of Washington were the first two to legalize marijuana. So, they're calling Seattle and, and uh, Denver uh, the, the Cannabis Bowl. Just something I happen to read and there's a uh, Found it unique. All right, let's get on to the game. Uh, I see uh, Denver is uh, favored by two points. It started out a pick 'em. Um, I even seen it at one point Seattle minus one, but it's been fluctuating pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> at Bovia, I think they're at three, but I'm sticking with uh, the minus two and Denver. Uh, this might be Peyton Manning's last uh, season. We don't know yet. Uh, he had one checkup uh, by the doctors cleared, but he has to go in the offseason for another one. And whether or not the doctors allow him to play next year or not, that remains to be seen. Uh, but uh, he's definitely destroyed all the records this year, and uh, I'm sure he wants to win the Super Bowl as, as a way of saying goodbye. Uh, this is the first time the first rank, uh, first seeded NFC and the AFC has meted uh, for quite some time. Second, second time in the uh, last 20 years. Uh, so it's uh, pretty unique to see that. Uh, last year, you know, we know uh, Baltimore went in as wild card team and won it all the way through. So uh, this not this time around. Uh, we got Denver, the number one offense, versus Seattle, the number one defense. Um, which is usually uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, I expect the in both in, in Seattle's offense compared to Denver's defense uh, match up fairly well as, as well. So um, a, a good tight game should happen, you know, if all fails. But on this game here, I'm going with experience. I mean, uh, who's the most experienced person in this? Who's been to the uh, Super Bowl before? And of course, that all lies on Peyton Manning. Uh, he's the one uh, to tell his team, now listen, just look out for this, look out for that. You know, who on Seattle has the experience to do that? Uh, I think like Colin Kaepernick uh, last week, you know, uh, he's doing great all the way through and then just blew it uh, at the end of the, of the game. I mean, that could happen with uh, Wilson uh, at the end of the game in the Super Bowl. So it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a nice battle. Uh, but I expect, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking uh, Denver to win on this. Uh, Denver minus the two, that's what I'm going with. And I believe uh, um, if it's not a runaway game, if it's a close game, uh, they should win by a touchdown or less. Uh, so I, I'm, I, I guess it is around six or seven points uh, uh, that Denver should win it by. Now, now if Seattle, you know, blows it because... You know, they've never been here before, a lot of pressures on them. I mean, they could easily be blown out of the sky. You know, it's, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, Peyton Manning can't play in the cold. And it's uh, because he's more of an indoor uh, player with Indianapolis. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say too much on that. And I think this year he's proven that he can play out in the cold. Uh, so, um, and just Seattle's inexperience, their second year quarterback, you know, sophomore slump, you hear it, you know, it's not as bad as like RG3 is second year. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, Wilson will definitely feel the pressure on, on uh, you know, winning this game. And whether he can do it or not, that remains to be seen as well. Uh, but how do you go against Peyton Manning? I mean, he's 
by far the, probably the best quarterback uh, uh, in NFL has ever seen. And uh, one thing, uh, to tell you how much experience uh, Peyton Manning has. Um, when Wilson was nine years old, when Peyton Manning entered the uh, ball, uh, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, so that tells you how much experience he has uh, compared to uh, Wilson and and, uh, and how I think he can handle the pressure a lot better, especially the Super Bowl. Uh, so expect, uh, I'm expecting a great game. Um, one, one thing I've bet in the last few years uh, is a, a, a bet you no, don't normally play in games is how long is the national anthem uh, and you know how, how will they go over a certain amount of time or under a certain time I always pick over and it always has because you know the singers who sing the national anthem uh, want to last longer the experience longer and and hold those octaves longer uh, so that's one thing to always bet on so uh, just just from uh, my advice to you just pick that put a few dollars on it you'll get it so all right, well, again, I hope that uh, you guys stay tuned, uh, stay channeled. I will have some videos in the off season here and there. Uh, but uh, be looking forward to next year. I'm definitely going to be uh, having Detroit Lion news uh, here and there when I see it. Uh, and uh, please stay tuned. So uh, if I don't see you around, I'll see you square. So I'll see you guys later, and you guys have a great off season And uh, subscribe. So see you later. Peace.